on VE Day in 45, I think I was probably close to six. There was an old 27 Mac fire truck that sat over here in that garage. The battery was always dead if there was a fire. So they could push it down that slope to catch it. There was a big siren up on the city hall. Did you know about that? And you could hear it probably to Hendersonville. So if a call came in, somebody would, it was electric, they'd turn on the siren. And then whoever was available, now in those days, it was primarily, well it was, it was just male, uh, who would hop on the truck, push it off, get it cranked, and then go to the fire. And a lot of times it was just young teenagers and no training, nobody had any training. Um, there was a place out on Louisiana Avenue. There was a man by the name of Malachi Goforth who had a house and a big barn next to it. Got the call one day and James Hip, I mean, <laughs> he had to know these characters. He was driving. His brother Pete was on the truck. When he rolled up to the fire hydrant, Pete hopped off with the connecting end of the hose and the truck goes rolling on down. Well, you know, the, cave, the, uh, uh, the hose is laid in there in sections, and, but it was all coupled together. I don't know how many feet of hose was in a, on that truck. Pete turned on the water. <laughs> well, here comes, you know, a straight shot <laughs> of probably 90 pounds of water. <laughs> By the time the truck got up the, the, near the barn, there was no way to uncouple it. And it was only kids, or teenagers, on that truck. And we were acting like a bunch of fools. And somebody hollered for Pete to cut off the water. Well, he did, but the pressure stayed on the hose. And Malachi's barn burned down. <laughs> we, we never put a drop on <laughs> Oh, Lord. I th think I started to say about VE Day. They got the truck out, put some flags on it, and just rode all over town forever with that siren. And I was almost sick and I got to ride on it. I thought that was the greatest thing in the world. A six-year-old to ride a fire truck, even though we weren't going to fire. <laughs>